Are you a network marketer who wants to sell more and sponsor more in 2024 on social media? If that is you, you are in the right place today. Hey, everybody. I'm Sarah Robbins, former kindergarten teacher turned one of network marketing's top leaders. Together with our team, we do over a billion dollars in sales every year, and I share my best practices in my best-selling book, Rock Your Network Marketing Business. I am also a coach inside of one of the most supportive, collaborative communities inside of the industry called the Network Marketing Inner Circle. We only open up a few times per year, but if you are looking for coaching, community, accountability, and strategy to go next level in your business, we do the social media marketing and the network marketing sales and systems all in one spot, make sure you check us out at the networkmarketinginnercircle.com. Today, we are going to be talking about the five steps to creating the perfect post on social media. If you're excited to learn this tip today, go ahead and give me some love in the chat. In today's prospecting pop-up training in under 10 minutes, we're gonna be talking about the ways to create the perfect post that performs. It performs well with your audience, and in the algorithm, okay? So what do I mean by that? It means your audience is actually gonna physically like your stuff, but also that it's going to cause them to like the stuff, like all the likes, the comments, the shares, the engagement, it causes the algorithm to say, you know what, I'm gonna show this to more people. Why do you care? Because when you increase your followers, those are potential customers. Even more importantly, when you have engaged followers, right? those are potential customers for you. Are you guys ready to dive in today? If so, give me a yes below. And by the way, let me know in the comments whether you're watching live or the replay. Go ahead and say live or replay below and I'll meet you in the comments section after today's chat. All right, so here are the five things that I'm gonna really take a deep dive on each and every one of the points on the screen. So what are the steps that you need to take to make sure that you're creating the perfect post that again is going to perform well with your audience and in the algorithm. All right, so you know, first and foremost, I want you to realize this. Social media is changing all the time. The algorithm is changing all the time. It's why I am so consumed with making sure that our students in the network marketing inner circle are up to date on all of the latest strategies as it relates to what's working and what's not working in social media marketing right now. I'm the number one earner and the number one recruiter in my company. And the majority of leads actually come to me on social. Also too, over the course of the year, we've committed to our students that they would become proficient in prospecting on every single social media site. So I just wanna take a poll in the comments below, which of the sites you're on, who's on Pinterest, if so, you can just type in Pinterest in the chat or put a letter P. Okay, so here's the thing. Pinterest, if you have not yet created an account on Pinterest, in our inner circle, we teach you how to set up the account, pin it once, forget about it, and get paid. Create passive sales on Pinterest. Pin it, forget it, get paid, okay? That's a great place to get passive sales. Who of you are on LinkedIn? If so, put an L-I in the chat, LinkedIn. You guys wanna know why I love LinkedIn? Okay, so we do a lot of workshops on LinkedIn inside of the inner circle because LinkedIn is a great platform for prospecting professionals. And here's the thing, unlike other social platforms, Instagram and Facebook, don't worry, we talk all about that in the inner circle too, but LinkedIn, when you message people about an opportunity, they don't get all upset, why? They're there to hear opportunity. So it's a much different platform. It's a much different way of reaching out. Of course, we cover Facebook and Reels, short form video on TikTok to reach all new markets and really to pick up all on all of the current trends. Like Reels is a great way to rock your recruiting today. And obviously, so much more. Today, we're going to really focus in on what's working now to create posts that perform well with your audience and in the algorithm. And we're going to really focus in on Facebook and Instagram. If that's good with you, let me know by dropping some hearts in the chat. Okay. So what are the keys? We're going to go over five steps to creating the perfect social media post, okay? Number one, first and foremost, before we worry about all the algorithm stuff, I want you to write this down. Be the place that people check on purpose. Here's the thing. If you're always focused on giving value to your audience, you don't have to worry about what's happening in the algorithm. 
I mean, yeah, you do, because you always want to add some fuel to the fire and reach even more people, right? But here's the thing. If you wake up every day and you're thinking about how do I make his or her life easier or better today, you're thinking about your who, right? We teach you in our courses how to check your insights and figure out who your followers are. You're going to be the place that they go, man, they add such great value to my life. I'm going to go ahead and check and see what so-and-so posted today, right? So I just want you to pause before you post. Every post comes with a price. It's more followers or lost followers that day, okay? So say, for example, you sell weight loss. You don't want to be talking about your product every day. What are other problems that you can solve for your avatar? Well, it might be healthy lunch hacks, high protein snacks, hotel workouts, how you get the water in, anything with education, inspiration, or motivation. Write that down. Education. So you're teaching them how to do something. Inspiration. So you're inspiring them. Maybe you Google some inspirational quotes or stories or even uh, success stories, testimonials, before and afters, right? On weight loss. And inspiration, ed education, motivation, even sprinkling in some humor. So you could even do like some funny memes, okay? People have a hard day. <laughs> They're trying to lose weight. What are some things that can make them laugh, okay? So I really want you to think about before we worry about, I'm going to teach you all this stuff with the algorithm into it when we get to our five points. But if that's not working for you, I'm going to go back to step one and go, but wait a minute. Was your post to serve you to check off the list? I did my business this day, or was it really to serve your audience and grow your audience? Because at the end of the day, when you make nine out of 10 posts a value post, some of you guys are doing it the other way around. You have nine out of 10 posts about your product. When you do nine out of 10 posts, value posts to just simply grow your audience, cast a wider net, when you sprinkle in your posts about your product or business, you're going to have more people who want to try, buy, or learn more. Okay. All right. Is this making sense so far? Okay. Number two, time on content. So what does that mean? So basically how the algorithm is rewarding you today is how long are people spending time on your content? So single image posts, right? We just post a picture with a caption. People scroll by under a second. But when you're posting multiple images, so carousel posts, or perhaps creating reels that people are watching for 60 to 90 seconds, they're reading the captions, or even watching a live video because they're interacting and engaging with your content for a longer period of time, that signals to the algorithm, oh, people love this stuff. I'm going to show it to more people. Does that make sense? Used to be that... You know, we had to teach our students to make reels once a day, every day. It's not true now. I'm going to show you that proof in just a moment, okay? Reels are a big part of the equation, but they're a part of the equation. Next, you want to get engagement on your posts. It's not just about building a bigger following. It's about getting a more engaged audience. So how do you do that? Write this down. And make sure, by the way, you tag your team and share this in your team pages, in the inbox with a friend. Guys, this is the tip you want people to know. Conversation is the currency of social media right now. Conversation is the currency of social media right now. Okay, first and foremost, let me tell you what not to do. Don't post a link. Do not post links in your post itself. Don't post it in your stories. Don't post it in the comments section. Don't even say, hey, see the link in my bio. You wanna know why? Anytime you post the link, it suppresses your post. Social media is a social platform. So think about it this way. The algorithm looks at it like a jealous ex-boyfriend and they're like, we don't want people leaving this platform and going somewhere else. She's selling, uh-uh-uh, this is a social site. So how do we fix that, right? Again, once you hurt your engagement, it's really hard to build it back up again. Also too, it's not just links, it's language. You know, we've all heard about AI, artificial intelligence. So it's combing and looking for your social media to say things like, message me for the link. Nope, we don't even wanna say that either. And you can test this on your own. Post a picture of your babies, post a picture of your business, whether it's your babies, your fur babies, and then your business, which is gonna get more interaction and engagement. It's natural, right? So again, all the more reason that we vary our content and what we're talking about, but how do we actually get engagement? We ask for it. How do we get conversation on our post? Because I said conversations are the currency of social media. We ask for it. So invite people into the conversation. If you're talking about your favorite high protein snack, just say, I'd love to pull my audience. What's your favorite protein snack on the go? And let people respond 
and you can end every caption with a question. Another thing you could do, similar to what I've been doing here, call to action. Drop a heart if you're loving this, right? Go ahead, do that note. Drop a heart if you're loving this. Now I've got you in the comment section, okay? In addition to that, how do we solve the problem with not posting a link or sales language? Well, let's say that you're talking about a certain special. Let's say you're, you're before and after. Instead of doing a single image post, it's the million dollar tip for you. Make sure you share this video when we're done into your team pages and your threads or hit the little link button on the video that you're watching right now and share it with friends. This is a million dollar tip, okay? You don't wanna post the links. You don't wanna post the language. What you want people to do is instead, remember this, okay? Let me just back up and say this. Sales happen in the inbox. Sales happen in the inbox, okay? So what you want to do is say something along the lines of for our, you know, for today's special, whatever it is that you're talking about, drop the word glow, okay, in the comments below. You want them basically to drop one word in the comments, which allows you to then know who to follow up with because the fortune is in the follow-up. The fortune is in the follow-up. So now you can go to the inbox and say thanks for your interest, right? If you change one thing about your skin, what would it be? Or hey, would you take this quick, quick quiz for me? Tell me what it recommends. You respond back with some before and after pictures and then say, would you like to give it a try? Lead with any specials, your company guarantee. Hey, would you like to give it a try? Okay. We do not want to put links. What we want to do is invite people into a conversation by asking a question or giving a one word call to action, right? Drop the word event below to get your invitation. Oh, so the before and after. This was the one thing I wanted to share, okay? You do this single image post the before and after, here's the million dollar tip for you. Instead of doing a one picture post, what about is the be so swipe right to age backwards or whatever it is you sell. Swipe right to lose the quarantine 15. Maybe sell weight loss, okay? So do the a big like hot pink, something to catch their attention, maybe something you make on Canva. I've got a great um, Canva workshop inside of the Network Marketing Inner Circle, my coaching program. Maybe that's the cover photo, right? To get them to swipe right. And the caption itself is swipe right to age backwards. So they, that's the first thing, right? The hook. They swipe right, it's the before. Swipe right, it's the after. Swipe right, it's a one minute video of you talking about the product. And then you can say, drop the, the, drop the word solution to get your customized solution or to get your free skin scanner. Again, whatever it is you sell. Now, when they drop the one word, you meet them in the inbox, right? Again, conversation is the currency of social media. So you can't track who, who clicked a link anyways, right? And now this is getting more engagement as they're engaging in your content, but also too that they're commenting as well. Okay, next, always reply back to com uh, these comments with more conversation. So for example, we're gonna take, we're gonna do a quick sample of this. I want you to see how this works in action. Everybody really quickly type in the chat where you're tuning in from, whether you're watching live or the replay, where are you tuning in from? I want you to see this work before your very eyes. Where are you tuning in from? You give me city, state, whatever you feel comfortable with, okay? Now, I'm gonna meet you in the comment section as soon as I hang up. And I'm gonna say, how's the weather there? How are you doing? What I want you to do is to look for my question to you and respond to it. Do you see what's happening there? It's creating more conversation in the comment section. And if conversation is a currency of social media, that post is gonna be shown to more people, okay? By the way, side note, bonus tip, Always respond to friend requests, DMs in your inbox, also to any comments in the comment section. Last but not least, make sure you're adding your hashtags, okay? We just did our five-day social media boot camp covering this. I, I can't get into all of it now, but we have the workshop housed inside of the inner circle. There's a strategy with hashtags. It's basically one of the most relevant that is in your Facebook caption. You can use up to 30 in Instagram, it looks better in the comments, but this is how I built an international business with just one hashtag, okay? So let's review. First and foremost, you gotta give value to your audience or they're not gonna like the stuff anyways or engage with it. Second of all, vary your content between carousels, reels, live video. Third thing is, 
How do you get engagement? You ask for it. End your caption with question or say, hey, drop one word for the link. Drop one word for this. Drop a heart if you're loving this, okay? Next, anytime you get comments, respond with conversation. Ask a question, they're gonna comment back and don't forget your hashtags, all right? I promise you I would show this is working. I love this. I get this from Facebook, Instagram all the time. Hey, you have had increased visibility every day for 28 days and then they send it to me every month over and over again. What does it mean? It means they're gonna show the, my content to people more broadly. That means people outside of my followers, potential customers, right? It means that increased visibility is giving to people who create high quality content. That's why I teach what I do in the inner circle. And it says, keep up the momentum, do these things. So success leaves clues. They're giving you a clue. They're saying, here's what we want you to do. Vary your posts, reels, stories, live videos, and more. Find comments on your posts where you can extend the conversation, meaning keep talking to people, right? And when all else fails, do you know what you can do? It says create posts related to current events. Talk about Taylor Swift, Travis Kelsey right now. You're going to get people naturally in the comment section. All right, guys. If you want more free training from me, it's not just social media stuff that I train. I also train network marketing, um, sales, and also systems. My system, the Multiply Method, created the fastest growing sales team in the industry. We did what takes most companies 50 years to do in five years to do over a billion dollars in sales every year and serve millions of customers. You can get my free guide full of tips and scripts. By the way, it's totally free. There's no upsells. You can go to prospectingguide.com, the link that is on the screen. Or if you're in North America, take a quick picture. You can text the word guide to 310-388-3049. Again, 310-388-8049, that's my text. When you send me the word guide, I'll send this back to you and it will be yours for free. And again, please remember, we are now open for enrollment in the Network Marketing Inner Circle. If you want to learn more or um, join our community, you can join us now at the networkmarketinginnercircle.com where we combine the best of the best social media strategy and network marketing systems to help you rock your network marketing business. Did today's tip help? I hope so. If so, Make sure you click the share button and share it in the inbox or, of course, a team page with a friend. The more who know, the greater your team will grow. With that, I want to wish you a great day. God bless. Goodbye for now. And rock on, rock stars. We will talk to you real soon. Bye, friends.